tree this is the normal color pinkish dry do you feel any pain when i pinch up no and i have here a fly whose wings are going to be sticking out of the page can you please pinch one of the wings that's sticking out Hello, welcome to our practice. My name is Dr. Lux. Hello, Dr. Lux. This is Dr. Mad. My name is Dr. Mad. Nice, Dr. To Matt. nice to meet you. So we'll be doing your cranial nerve exam today. Okay. How are you feeling? Good. I feel all right. Okay, before we begin the exam, I'd like to make sure that we have the right charts for you. Can you please confirm your first and last names? Uh, James. James, welcome back, James. Very nice seeing you again. Thank you. It's good to be here. We'll take care of you today. Wonderful. Can we have your date of birth, please? It's August 4th. Okay. Perfect. So we have the right chart. Excellent. And James, do you feel any pain today? No. Okay. And when is the last cranial nerve exam that you had done? Last year. Last year, okay, so it's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's about time that we check you out again and make sure that your five senses are working just as expected. Okay, that would be good. Wonderful. Are you experiencing any double vision, blurry vision, any tingling sensations in your arms, your legs? No. Any recent headaches? No. Any hearing problems, any buzzing? Yeah, or... sometimes I get a ringing. It goes okay. away pretty fast. Okay, we'll definitely check out Usually the ears. A... On the left ear. And have you ever had any difficulty breathing? No. Do you exercise regularly? Sometimes. Okay. Very good to know that. Any history of diabetes, asthma, bleeding disorders? No. Ear or sinus infection that's chronic? No. Okay. Do you have any other questions for him? Any changes in your facial sensation? No. Okay. Wonderful. I think we're ready to begin the exam. Okay, James. Great. Check some. Thank you. And are you in any kind of pain today, James? No. Okay, so what we're going to do is focus on your main five senses. Your sense of hearing, vision, smell, taste, um, and make sure that everything is working as expected with your heart. We will start by listening to your heart and to your lungs. Have you ever had any problems with your heart? No. Just breathe normally. Not hearing any murmurs or any abnormal sounds. Okay. I'm going to listen with the bell sign as well. Not hearing S1 and S2, I'm able to hear S3 and S4, so no signs of any heart failure. All good, clear sounds coming from your heart. Okay, let's listen to the lungs as well. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. One more time. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. I'm not able to hear any abnormal sounds, no wheezing, no crackles, no wrong cry, no signs of infiltrates or pneumonia. Sounds are bilaterally clear. Non labored breathing. Is it 
okay for this one on the side? Yes. Okay, just put your arm like this one, please. Take one more deep breath in. Good. I want to listen to the back as well. Take a deep breath in. Good. Basis of the lungs sound very clear on the left side. Same on the right side as well. I'm hearing clear and clean sounds. Are you a smoker? No. Good. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and check his uh, carotid pulse. Okay, so just relax for us. I'm just going to put two fingers on the carotid artery on the left side of the neck. And my colleague here is listening for any brewing in the jugular vein. No signs of any brewing. Nothing abnormal with his carotid artery. No signs of anything wrong with the jugular vein. Clear sounds. Okay, is it okay if I come close and palpate your face, your head, your lymph nodes? Yes. Wonderful. Just relax, please. behind the ear? No. I'm pressing lightly on your mastoid process. Any pain behind your right ear? No. Okay. Sinuses on the left side of the face are non-swollen, non-tender. or inflammation of the jawline on the left side. No droopiness. I'm going to go ahead and slowly tap on your face. Just going to jot down a couple of observations. No droopiness. No signs of any psoriasis or redness, no lymph node enlargement noted. No pain when pressing down in the mastoid process. Go ahead and clench your jaw. Okay, keep it clenched. I'm going to try to move your jaw side to side. Okay, resist that. Okay, perfect. I'm going to do a facial sensation test next. Please keep your eyes closed and let me know where on your face you feel me touching it. Okay. Forehead. Okay. The right side of my face, the left side, nose, chin. Right eye, left ear. Now, can you please tell us if you feel this equally on both sides of your forehead? Yes. Okay, if you want is clear, can you please tell us if you feel this equally on both sides of your cheeks? Yes. The two is clear, equally on both sides of your chin? Yes. V3 is clear, excellent. Now I'm going to touch you with two different kinds of textures. Please extend your arm. One of them is sharp and pointy, the other one is dull and fluffy. Let us know which one we're touching you with. Okay. Pointy. 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 Soft. Pointy. Soft. Soft. Pointy. Pointy, soft, pointy. Excellent. 
going to take a look at your scalp and make sure that there are no signs of psoriasis, ringworm, any abnormalities on the skin of your head, um, as well as hopefully no signs of any infestation. Okay. Okay, just relax for us. I'm seeing a clear scalp, no dandruff, color appropriate to his ethnicity, strong hair follicle, no signs of any folliculitis or infestation on the right side. How about okay. you, Dr. Matt? The left side is clear, I'm not noticing any lumps, no bumps. Scalp is intact, no scratches, no normal hair follicles. No tenderness also. No signs of infestation on the left side. Excellent. Next up, we're going to do a visual inspection of the skin on your face. Make sure that there are no moles of concern, no psoriasis or signs, you know, of any, anything wrong with the skin on your face. Keep your eyes closed. or swelling, no patches of dryness. This side is clear. How about the left side of the man? Everything looks good. Very healthy. Skin is very well perfused. No scars. So good facial sensations, no signs of droopiness or anything wrong with your face or the nerves in your face, healthy scalp, no signs of folliculitis, and good skin on your face. It's good to hear. Okay, James, so far so good. Next up, we're going to focus on your mouth. I'd like to inspect the inside of your mouth. And make sure that there are no signs of any inflammation or any infection on in your throat. Okay. If you could please stick out your tongue for me and say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, no redness, no swelling, no signs of any inflammation, and the teeth look intact. Next up, we are required by the hospital to take a throat and a nose swab of every patient that comes in. Um, is that okay? Yes. Okay. Look up for me and open your mouth. That's one. Open your mouth wide. That's two. We will get the results within 48 hours and make sure that you don't have any strep or any infection in your throat. Okay. Okay, James, I'm going to perform a nose exam now. So first I'm just going to slowly palpate. Okay. Can you breathe in, breathe out? Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so both nerves were patent. No visible obstructions. So I'm going to ask you to look up for me, please. Relax. Okay. Okay. No debate the septum. Just a little bit of inflammation. I am noticing some redness. Okay, maybe he's just fighting like a viral infection. Okay, let's go ahead and check your other nerve. Just look up. 
just going to take a note mm -hmm. of that. Okay, same thing over here, same inflammation. I think what this looks is like allergic rhinitis. Okay. But otherwise, no deviated septum, mucosa is very well moisturized. Very good. Okay, James, so I'm just going to do a very gentle no swamp. Like we said, we're required by the clinic to do this. Just look up for me. It's just gonna feel a little bit ticklish. Okay. And get in there. Go ahead and look up. Okay, beautiful. Go ahead, Dr. Lux. Next up, I'd like to check your sense of taste. I have here a dropper with an essence. I'm gonna drip one drip on the tip of your tongue. Tell me what is it that you're tasting? Lemon. Lemon, very good. And one more essence. What do you taste? Mint. Mint, very good. That was correct. Next up, I'd like to test your sense of smell. Can you tell me what is it that you're smelling? Mm, coffee. Coffee, very good. Okay, one more smell. A little bit different than the previous one. Vanilla. Vanilla. Very good. And the final smell. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Excellent, James. Your nose is working just as expected. Good. Okay, James, next up we would like to test your eyes and your vision. Have you ever had any problems with your vision, blurred vision, double vision? No. Should okay. I put my glasses? Oh, no. You can keep your glasses off. Okay. Dr. Matt. Would you like to begin by doing the manual inspection? Okay. So look, straight at me, please. Any pain? No. Okay. Go ahead, close your eyes. Wonderful, everything looks good. Okay. Can you look straight at my nose, mm -hmm. please? In my nose. Okay, I'm just gonna go and slowly press down on your eyelid. Very good. Wonderful. Go ahead, look straight ahead for me, please. Good. Without moving your head, please look at the light. Now look at my fingers. Okay, now look at the light. And now look at my fingers. And in my fingers. Very good eye mobility. Synchronized movements. Yeah, both eyes were able to follow the directions in all four quadrants. Now we're going to go ahead and test your vision. You can now uh, put your glasses back on. You're going to need them for this next part of the exam. And I have right here the smell and chart. Go ahead and cover his right eye. Perfect. Okay, can you please tell me what color this is? Green. What color is this? Red. What number do you see here? Nine. What number do you see here? Six. Which circle is smaller, six or nine? Six is smaller. Okay, very good. Can you please read the third row, starting with the first letter here? F. P. H. Very good. And now read the last row. L. T. F. P. H. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and switch eyes. Okay, go ahead and read the second row for me. L, T. How about the bottom row? L, T, F, P, H. And the third row here from the last one. H, P, F. Very good. And what number is this? Nine. How about this one over here? Two. Which bubble is bigger, nine or two? Nine. Excellent. Good vision. Okay, 
next up we're going to test your stereoscopic depth perception. If you can please put these glasses on, they're 3D glasses. Very good. And I have here a fly whose wings are going to be sticking out of the page. Can you please pinch one of the wings that's sticking out? Excellent. And here there are some groups of bubbles. In each one of them, one of the bubbles is sticking out of the page. Please point to it. Very good. Yep, that's it. And here there are some animals. In each row, one of them is sticking out of the page. Please point to it. Excellent. Very well. Very good. So good depth perception. Can you please have the glasses back? Your vision is perfectly healthy. That's good. Okay, next up I'm going to check your red color desaturation. Please tell me if this level of red is just as bright as this one. Yeah. Excellent. Is, um, is it okay if we take the glasses off just one more time? Okay. Wonderful. So can you please look straight ahead for us? Okay. Try not to blink so much. I know the light is going to be um, bothering you a little bit, but this uh, pressure ocular test is going to last for just a few seconds. We're going to ask you to pinch your nose and hold your breath while we do this. Look, the nerve in the left eye is intact. Seeing normal retina and no lesions on the right eye. I'm not noticing any abnormalities, no redness. Ocular disc is intact. Wonderful. Excellent. Next up, we're going to take a look at your ears. Have you ever had any problems with your hearing, any ringing, signs of tinnitus? Yeah, sometimes on the left ear. Yeah, and you okay. did mention that. We're going to go ahead and check that for you today. That's good. Okay, first, we're just going to go ahead and inspect. Take a look. The tragus is the normal color, pinkish, dry. Do you feel any pain when I pinch up? No. How about now? No. Any pain when I pull down? No. Not seeing any discharge on the outside of the oracle of the ear. No redness, no moles. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look inside the ear. Can you? Just relax. I'm able to visualize the ear canal, normal pearly gray tympanic membrane. Okay. Tympanic membrane and the left ear is pearl gray. Margins are very well defined. I'm not noticing any signs of infection. No abnormal discharge, a little bit of wax build up, but in a normal amount. That could explain the tinnitus in the left ear as well. I'm noticing some earwax discharge, but nothing too abnormal. The right ear is perfectly healthy. Same. Go ahead and check your hearing now. So we're going to create a vibration sound. We're going to put a tuning fork in the back of your ear and then in front of the ear. Can you please tell us which sound is louder? Okay, so that's position number one. This is position number two. Which two. Is two. Wonderful. Can you please tell me when you don't hear the sound anymore? No. But okay, I'm going to go ahead and create the same vibration. Place it in position one and position two. Let me know which one you found find louder. Position one. And position two. Two. Very good. And one more time, let me know when the vibration stops and when you stop hearing it. No. Excellent. Good hearing. Yes. 
Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. I'm going to make a clicking sound. Count how many times you're hearing them and tell me which side you hear it on, left or right. Right. Left. One. Two. Two. One. One. Two. Very good. Wonderful. Your hearing is perfectly healthy. Let's go ahead and uh, check his um, reflexes next. It's a very good idea, Dr. Mad. We're going to begin with the shoulders and then just go down the arm all the way to the thumb and then we're going to move down the legs. Okay. Great. Okay, just relax for us. Good. 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 in the back of the heel. Okay, perfect. Okay, James, just a few more moments here. We really want to make sure that we get a very good cut diagnosis and you don't have to come back anytime soon for another green alarm exam. So you can please extend your arms like this. Okay, I'm going to press down on your arms. Don't let me do that. Okay, good. I'm going to push up on your arms, don't let me do that. Good. I'm going to try to open up your arms, don't let me do that. Good. And I'm going to try to close your arms, don't let me do that. Good. And please squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Okay, perfect. Bilateral mus muscular strength is intact. Can you please spread your fingers like this for me? I'm going to attempt to push them away from each other, resist that. on this hand as well, resist that. Excellent. Strong muscles in your fingers. Okay. Make this press down on your wrist in pain. No. Okay. Keep your hands like this for me. Do you feel this? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Make the OK sign. I'm going to attempt to pull through. Resist that. Good. Thumbs up. I'm going to attempt to press down and then resist that. Now you press down on mine. Very good. Excellent. Wonderful. Let's extend your palms like this. Wonderful. Tell me if you feel this. Yes. Good. Tell me if you feel this. Yes. Tell me if you feel this. Yes. Tell me if you feel this. Yes. Good. Tell me if you feel this. Yes. Tell me if you feel this. Yes. 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 Wonderful. So the neurological assessment in the upper limbs is intact. We could go ahead and um, proceed to the lower limbs. Okay. Can we lay down at the table for us? Okay, James, we're going to take a look at the muscles in your chest area. I'm going to do a light percussion, palpation, and then we're going to auscultate the abdomen and listen to the internal sounds of your um, internal organs. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Let me know if you feel any pain. Just a light precaution to start off. Going to do a light palpation. No signs of any organ enlargement. Patient is not noting any pain, which is good. Okay, I'm going to try to feel your liver. No signs of any liver enlargement. Ok, 
Okay, I'm listening to the sounds of your abdomen. I'm able to hear activity in all four quadrants. Normal sounds, no swishing or gurgling. And I'm able to hear your bowel sounds. Yeah, all normal. Okay, Dr. Matt is going to take a look at your feet. Next time. Okay, so can you please lift both feet up at the same time? Good. Now try to put them down. Push them down, 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 down. Very good. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to open your legs. Don't let me do that. Good. Now I'm going to try to close your legs. Don't let me do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is call the Babinski uh, test. I'm just going to go ahead and strike your heel. Okay, very good. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Wonderful. Okay, so negative Babinski reflexes and the neurological assessment of the lower limbs is intact. Excellent, healthy feet and legs. Yes. Can go ahead and get up. Thank you so much, James. Everything was very good. Thank you for allowing us to take care of you today. The Thank cranial nerve exam was a success. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Lux. Perfectly healthy, and I would like to see you back in a couple of weeks just to stay on top of your health and make sure that uh, you're getting your cranial nerves checked on a regular basis. Okay, Dr. Lux. Do you have any questions for us? No. Okay. Do you remember our names? Dr. Matt. And? And Dr. Lux. Wonderful.